What is going on everybody? So I just finished recording a video on how you're going to send and receive mail at basic training and then after I finished that I was like well whenever they get to AIT I don't think I've ever done a video on what they can actually receive at AIT. All right, so before I start this video, I do want to preface it by saying AIT is way different than basic training as far as all the different variations that you can have. If you go to one station unit training, then you have the basic training portion and then you have the AIT portion. One station unit training tends to be a little bit more strict, especially if you're going like infantry or you're gonna be like a calf scout or something like that. One station, one station unit training for the AIT portion tends to be more strict than just going to basic training and then going to a separate AIT at a separate post. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. But with that being said, whenever you're at basic training, there's a whole bunch of things that you can't have. Like the vast majority of things, you just, you just can't have it. Now, when you get to AIT, that is not the case. So if you want to buy things on Amazon, if you want to have your family members send you things, if maybe you want some of the clothes that you, you know, didn't bring to basic training with you because you shouldn't bring all that much stuff. If you want some of that clothes, then your family members can send that to you. So I'm gonna kind of try to go through some of the, the different things and kind of outline some of the no-go zones for y'all whenever you get to AIT. And the first thing that's pretty crazy is if you happen to smoke or if you happen to use different tobacco product products whenever you get to AIT, for the most part, you're gonna get to do that. They're gonna have the little designated areas and you're only gonna get to really do it a certain time of the day whenever the duty day is over, but that is something that you can do. If you want to bring a computer, if you want to bring a little monitor and your Xbox or your PlayStation or whatever, and you want a game, and use and pay for your little Wi-Fi. I think the Wi-Fi whenever I was at AIT was pretty freaking expensive. And honestly, it was better for me to use my cell phone as a hotspot than use the Wi-Fi that I was paying for, which was stupid. But nevertheless, you could do stuff like that at AIT. Now, again, it could vary from AIT to AIT. It could, it could really just depend, but for the most part, those are things that you can actually have. You can bring that stuff. When it comes to working out, whenever you're at basic training, you can't have protein powder, you can't be taking creatine or anything like that. But when you get to AIT, you can start taking that stuff. You can go to the gym and actually work out. So if you wanna get some BPN supplements, link in the description, use code WARD for 10% off. You can do that and that's freaking awesome. Now there's gonna be some stipulations behind that when you can actually take your supplements because like for me, for example, in my AIT, a lot of this is just my personal experience, but we could have our protein powders and stuff like that up in our room, but we had to go down to essentially like the break room, like the little hangout area to actually fill up our shaker bottles and actually eat or drink whatever we wanted to have because we couldn't have any food up in the barracks. And I would like to note here that really the biggest thing that you obviously can't have or consume whenever you're at AIT is alcohol. So you're not gonna be getting to go out and getting some alcohol at the PX. That is gonna be off limits to you. You cannot have that stuff until you graduate and you get to your duty station or you graduate and you come back home if you're in the Army Reserve of the National Guard. Now, really most everything else, I want you guys to think about this so I don't have to go off on a crazy, crazy list or anything like that. Like, you can have tobacco as long as your post allows it and I'm pretty sure they will. Um, you can have your computer, your laptop, if you want to bring your laptop, if you want to have your family member ship you a laptop, or if you don't have a laptop and you want to go buy one at the PX or off of Amazon or something, you can do that. If you want to buy some clothes, you can do that. If you want to buy supplements, right, you can do that. So there's not really going to be like a huge limit on things that you can have whenever you're at AIT. You're not going to have like your, your handgun or your shotgun or something with you. Obviously, that's another no-go thing. Um, you can't even have that in general. Like you're gonna have to put that in the armory if you're already on post and, and you live there after AIT. So just keep that in mind. But there's really not that much of a limit to it. And it kind of sounds weird that I'm making a video saying, oh, there's not really a limit to what you can have. But I have to let you guys know that because some people may think you get to basic training and you can't have freaking anything, like nothing at all. When you get to AIT, that is a whole different story. Now there is gonna be, like I said, stipulations between like where you can have things, certain time of the day that you can have things. Like for us, the TVs and the 
the TVs had to be a certain size. I think the screens had to be less than 20 inches. And we had to put up like our Xboxes and stuff at the end of the day. So past like 2100, past 9 p.m., all that stuff had to be up, away, in our lockers. We couldn't be using any of that stuff. So we couldn't have food up in the barracks. We couldn't have uh, our supplements and stuff. We had to consume those down in the break room. And there's gonna be things like that that are gonna have little weird twists and such at your AI team. For the most part, if you want it, you can pretty much have it. If you wanna get stuff on Amazon, feel free, go ahead and do that. If you forgot some stuff and you wanna have your family member ship it and it's cheaper to do Amazon Prime for free shipping to you, you can do that. Just don't annoy your drill sergeants at AIT with just 5,000 packages all the time. And before I finish this video, I want to reiterate that if you are going to one station unit training, that most of this is kind of up in the air, right? Again, if you're on infantry, I would say it's really not gonna be like this. Like you're not gonna probably, you're not gonna be able to have like your gaming system, you're probably gonna stay in your same barracks sometimes. And it's gonna be a whole lot more strict if you're going to one station unit training. But if you're not, if you're going to, for example, 25 Bravo AIT like I did, or any of the 25 series, then I know that this stuff is going to apply to you. If you're going to a different AIT, there again, the kind of stipulations around that, you may be able to consume your protein shakes up in your barracks. That may be a thing that your, your AIT can do, but you can have that stuff is what I wanna say in this video. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, that'd be awesome. If you're checking out some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. Follow my Instagram, Snapchat if you haven't already. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and I'll see y'all later. Drop.